Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM station. Today, I'm going to show you how to design this simple mechanical bracket as you can see on your screen by using NX12. This tutorial is for those who are seeking information about CAD CAM and are on beginner's level. And if you are a beginner, then you are on the right place. So make sure you watch this video till the end. I have another information to share with you guys. If you haven't watched my previous video where I've taught you that how to create sketches, a complex sketches and uh, I, where I have also told you that how to create those sketches by using uh, shortcuts and uh, lots of other things. So make sure you watch that video before entering into this one. and. Uh, you can i'm also going to share a few more examples of uh, sketches which you can try by yourself so these are the examples as you can see you can try it by yourself and if you find this sketches to you find difficulty to create these sketches then you can uh, write below into the comment section then i will create uh, another video for that one also so um also i would like to request you to subscribe like share and comment to keep me motivated so without much further ado let's get started so as you can see we are on the uh, blank uh, template model modeling rollout window so to start with as you can see i'm gonna create a circular command to create this feature here just give you the isometric view of this view of bracket to make it clear to you so we are gonna we're gonna create this start with this basic feature so let's hit the sketch button select the uh, vertical plane XY plane click on it and hit OK so now enter O on your keyboard to activate the circular command and place your cursor on the center of the datum select the datum coordinate system drag it out and enter the diameter or uh, as you can see on your screen that we have 36 millimeter of radius so enter 36 multiply by 2 and hit OK let me just give you the drag it out like this now again i'm gonna hit o on the keyboard and uh, draws the circle of radius 23 multiplied by 2 which in turn gives you the diameter of the circle now is the time to create the line from the center of this origin as you can see on your screen now hit l on your keyboard to activate the line command on your screen that you can see here you can uh, snap it wherever you want it so I'm gonna start from its origin dragging its outward well let me just delete it once and again start to show you something else that I'm gonna draw this line roughly like this I'm gonna first hold ctrl W to hide the dimension as you can see PMI select negative to hide the dimension now i'm gonna drag it and snapping it to the circle like this but it is not uh, this line is not passing through the origin of this circle to make it just hit c on your keyboard to activate the constraint dialog box select the horizontal first highlight the line select the start point and the origin now it will snap to its center now you can exit the sketch now you have to enter the length of this line so for doing this to activate the smart dimension hit, hit D on your keyboard then highlight the line select this and the other vertex of this line then click outwards and enter 114 millimeter of length just like this so after doing this hit T on your keyboard delete these sketches lines and uh, again hit L on your keyboard to activate the line command start it from here and enter 11 millimeter of length and uh, 
angle of 90 degrees 90 degrees and click ok now again I'm gonna activate the line command starting from its starting position and just click anywhere you want it because we're gonna we don't need this line anymore to trim it out select select T on your keyboard and trim out the lines which you don't need just like this now we are uh, done with this basic foundation so rotate the view to make it more clear hit X on your keyboard to activate the extrusion command and uh, as you can see you can change the direction of your sketch wherever you want you can uh, as you can see we have to extrude this feature equals to 50 millimeter and then you can change its direction but I want this to be equally distributed on both the sides of this vertical plane so under the start position select symmetric value but it is uh, the length is now 100 millimeter so if you want 50 millimeters then you have to enter half of the given value so 50 divided by 2 equals this so you can click ok to get the result as you can see here now you can hide the uh, sketch by control and W and hide the sketch like this now I want to create a, this feature as you can see the vertical feature I'm gonna start the let me show you here this vertical feature I'm gonna draw so how gonna do this so I'm gonna select this uh, central plane like this one go to sketch rotate to make it more clear zoom in this one and click ok now I'm gonna hit L to activate the line command starting from here start point going upward then again click like this create something like this okay now what I'm going to do is again I have to uh, close this sketch for closing this sketch I uh, or what I need is I am going to uh, project this edge onto the center of this plane on which I am creating this sketch but for doing this you have to drop click on this drop down arrow and uh, select this project curve now it will ask you to select the edge so select the edge like this and click ok now as you can see the line is projected on the central plane hit T on your keyboard and trim out the lines which you don't need hit F8 to make it normal to your view so what is uh, what other thing we need to do is to create a circle like as you can see here this around feature over here so how we're gonna create this I'm gonna create a, a just double click on it to activate the sketch whenever you want hit O on your keyboard to activate the circle instead of using central draw a circle by center select these three point circle once you selected this you are able to select the uh, lines like this to create the circle but it is not tangent at all to make it a tangent you need to do something else and what is that first of all just make it a little smaller and uh, I'm gonna hit D to activate the smart dimensions I'm gonna start from this to this and uh, from the drop down select vertical to enter the vertical height so our vertical height is going to be 72 millimeter something like this okay now hit C on your keyboard to activate the geometric constraints select the tangent select the circle and the line like this select the circle and this line I'm really sorry just click control plus Z to undo things 
again C select the line and the circle to make it tangent and uh, hit T on your keyboard to trim out the rest of the lines like this so hit D on your keyboard to give the dimension or the radius of this circle so this radius of circle is a 19 millimeter so as you can see you can select it by just drop down menu and select radial dimension and you can just simply click and enter the radius 19 millimeter just like that now again i'm gonna create a circle from its center and make sure you are on this feet click on this and then enter 28 millimeter of diameter just like that just turn to its in its isometric view now hit x on your keyboard select symmetric value and as you can see the thickness is 28 millimeter so 28 divided by 2 and ok Control w and hide the sketch so now is the time to create a this thing this slot as you can see here so how we're gonna do this so go back to the drawing I'm gonna select this back face or you can select now I'm gonna start with the back face so select the sketch and this back face and click and click OK so as you can see we are on the uh, back side of this sketch now we have to draw a rectangle as you can see it is 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter so zoom in I'm gonna select rectangle or you can hit R on your keyboard so draw a hit R on your keyboard draw the rectangle roughly now again enter I'm gonna make a symmetrical along this vertical y-axis so for doing this go to more and select make symmetric select this line this line and the vertical y-axis and close it you can double click on these dimensions hit 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter but the thing is I need to snap it somewhere over here how can I do this uh, the way I am doing this is a little bit um, different but you can do it whatever the way you want to do so for doing this I'm gonna again select the project curve I'm gonna select this round surface like this and click OK now as you can see we have these lines I'm gonna create a constraint so hit C horizontal constraint I'm gonna select this line and this line now I'm gonna get rid of these lines so I'm gonna convert them into construction lines so that these lines not affecting my main sketch so again you can go to here extrude or click X on your keyboard to extrude cut now you can change the direction of extrusion and under the end condition select until next and under the boolean operation select subtract and OK Control W and hide the sketch so as you can see here we are done with this feature so now is the time to create a cutout feature or uh, as you can see here on both the side of this bracket so just go back to the main dry area so, so I'm gonna select this face so select the face and hit OK again I need to create a projected curve from here so just click on here and select project curves select the edge like this and click OK draw the line a rough line 
something like this but the height of this line from the bottom or the base is 30 millimeter so double click and enter 30 millimeter so now hit T on your keyboard to trim these lines out like this now you can change its orientation like this and uh, hit X on your keyboard to extrude reverse its direction and uh, you can uh, enter the value here 11 millimeter or you can maybe you can so select until selected maybe if you can select this feature so it is giving some kind of uh, error I don't know why but so I'm gonna leave it to a value and uh, select the boolean operation subtract and click ok now as you can see ctrl w and hide the sketch now as you can see we have a cut feature here but in order to create uh, the same feature on the other side uh, we're gonna use the another command which is called mirror command so for doing this uh, go to more and select mirror feature selecting the mirror feature is very important uh, from creating sketches like this because it helps you to uh, it reduces the time to create same feature multiple times so select the feature like here select this feature and select the plane so make sure you highlight this one rotate a little bit so you need this this plane like this here click OK now as you can see how easy it is to create the cut feature on the other side if you just use the uh, if you use the procedure to create the object on the symmetrical value based so here you are with this one so now is the time to create another feature uh, this so how to create this feature just go to sketch and then the top surface click OK now again again you have to click O on your keyboard draw the circle and uh, the diameter of this circle is uh, 16 millimeter and uh, I want to make this on just the center of this uh, origin to do this you can hit C on your keyboard select horizontal select the center and the center of this origin so you can drag it down or select the sketch origin like this one okay so far so good so the now again you have to click D on your keyboard and uh, select horizontal dimension select from a center and this one and give it the dimension equals to 95 millimeter now as you can see rotate the view hit X on your keyboard make sure you, under the boolean operation you select unite and uh, under the distance make sure you enter 14 millimeter and hit ok now again select sketch to create a bore inside of this feature so select this face and click OK hit O on your keyboard and start from its origin circles origin and diameter 12 millimeter rotate its view and hit X on your keyboard reverse its direction and under the end condition select until next and from the boolean operation select subtract and click OK Control plus W as you can see here the object is almost ready now is the time to create these uh, planned features so how we're gonna create this you have to just go back to the position select the blend feature and from here enter the value 14 millimeter select the edges like this hit apply instead of clicking ok because we need to 
make this still active weighted we are working on the object right now so hit another radius equals to three millimeter hit enter then select the two edges which you want to make and then you can click ok and simply exit the sketch so as you can see how easy it is to create a simple mechanical component by using an x12 uh, you can you can also hide the datum like here hit f8 just to see the outlook of this simple mechanical bracket so this is it guys i hope at least you get something useful from this tutorial and if you want more then make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates from my side you are watching cat cam station signing out for now